Hey everybody, Patrick Norton from Tech Thing here. If you've been thinking about buying a new laptop, as of today, August 21st, you're gonna wanna put down your credit card and wait until September. Intel is dropping the first of their eighth gen Core i5 and Core i7 CPUs, and they're promising this Cobby Lake refresh for the U-series processors used in most thin and light laptops is gonna deliver, wait for it, 40% better performance over the Intel laptops you can buy today, like the Dell XPS 13s we're using on the set. That is a huge bump. What's an even bigger bump? Well, for the 450 million five-year-old machines Intel desperately wants you to replace with new Intel-powered machines, Intel claims double the performance. Well, that's not so surprising, they're five years old, right? Does this sound good? It should, but of course, there's some marketing magic here, a lot of hype. Those numbers were generated with benchmarks Intel put together to make things look particularly awesome for, you guessed it, new Intel-powered products. Not exactly a surprise there, what did catch me by surprise is that this first of the 8th gen Intel processors doesn't actually feature an 8th gen architecture. It's today's 7th gen processors with some big improvements, hence calling it Cobby Lake Freefresh. So what's going on here? This is Intel's first 15 watt laptop processor with four cores and eight threads. They have doubled the number of cores on the chip. Intel says that delivered 25% of their claimed 40% boost. And then they hammered on design and manufacturing, design improvements to allow for higher clock frequencies, and they tweaked the 14 nanometer plus process. They tightened up the manufacturing parameters. Quote, this will be seen in improvements on turbo frequency from 3.5 to 4 gigahertz. That's direct from Intel. That's a big bump. Of course, to run at those turbo frequencies, it's going to be up to the manufacturers to get the laptops designed so you can actually keep them at the 4 gigahertz turbo frequencies for any length of time. The base frequencies on these CPUs, they're power sipping. They run from 1.6 to 1.9 gigahertz, depending on which Core i5 or Core i7 model you're looking at. So, let me make it clear. The big performance bump here is those doubling of the cores and delivering four additional threads. If your apps like to use them, Lightroom, Photoshop, Handbrake, stuff like that, you get the idea, they are gonna be a huge help. Or if you like to run a ton of apps simultaneously, more cores and more threads is always good. Intel also says that you'll see great, um, they called it uncompromised battery life, up to 11.9 hours of YouTube video. Not exactly our benchmarking standard there, but 12 hours would be a pretty big deal. So, today Intel announced the Core i5-8250U, the i5-8350U, the i7-8550U, and the i8650U. There are going to be more than 145 designs hitting shelves in September, and I cannot wait to get hands-on and run some benchmarks. Desktop processors, they are definitely coming, but that's literally all Intel will say. Some last thoughts, the onboard graphics and the new CPUs will power up to three 4K monitors simultaneously, just don't expect a 3D game on them. Intel's online connect sounds really awesome because it promises to support fingerprint touch to pay with PayPal, guaranteed secure guest checkouts, hardened password managers, and built-in two-factor authentication. You're gonna need a fingerprint scanner in your laptop though. And uh, by the way, you should subscribe to youtube.com slash tech thing if you wanna catch our reviews of the new Intel powered laptops as they arrive. I'm Patrick Norton, and thank you so much for watching this Tech Thing Short.